Happy Halloween, my fellow YouTubers. It's Vince Romano26 here, and it's about 10.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know it's probably the end of Halloween for most of us, but I didn't get a chance to do my vintage Halloween uh, decor room tour video, which I'll be showing you now. Just all of my vintage Halloween stuff that I've had out that you've seen, but I figured why not give a tour of all the cool stuff that I've had and stuff that I've gotten. I'll start out on the back of my door. I have that witch that I bought at that estate sale for a dollar. Had that. I love her to death because she's one of the more spooky things that I have. On my closet door, I have the um, Bistol uh, skeleton that I bought for two dollars. And I also have the uh, 70s um, whimsical scarecrow jack-o'-lantern that I bought at a thrift store for 75 cents. We go over here. I moved the um, candy buckets around. I bought the uh, jack-o'-lantern for 50 cents and I got uh, Wendy for $1.50. I hope it's focusing for you guys. If it's not, I'm truly sorry. So I put that, and I'll show you where I put the little mini skeleton uh, in just a little while. So I got those. I decided to put that one here because I wanted to hang her up, Wendy up. And then I got this um, not very old um, 80s um, Bistol uh, honeycomb jack-o'-lantern jack skeleton for that I bought at a church uh, sale for a quarter. Brand new, never been used. Over here, I have my um, Denmark ghost that has been, that kind of swivels around. Actually, I shouldn't say that's, that's one of the other scary pieces that I have. And just to show you guys, although I, didn't, I don't go trick-or-treating anymore, I had to work 2.30 to close tonight, so that's why my video is a little late. Went to Rite Aid and bought all that candy that you see right there. Candy lovers, I know. Don't hate me. I couldn't resist. And when you buy candy, originally it's pretty expensive, but I got it on sale with the Rite Aid Wellness card, so I couldn't resist. Back to holiday decor. I have my skull candy bucket that I got for $1.50 that I really, really love. And I'm happy to own. That's just hanging right by my window and where I shoot most of my haul videos. And then over here, we've got Casper. First piece on that shelf. I won't go through the whole shelf again. And then we've got my little witch friend here that I bought at an estate sale. And then, of course, my melted plastic popcorn decorations that I paid $3 a piece. Well, range from $0.50 cents all the way up to $3. So I got those hanging over my bed. I'll show you the full pieces right there. And then I bought this guy last year. Either last year or two years ago. This little, um... Hallmark cat. People claim them as rare. I've seen one on eBay. Try to people are trying to ask forty nine ninety eight for it. I'm like, no, I got them for sixty seven cents. Forget about it. Come over to this part of the room. My little skeleton. Sorry, guys, I'm messing up all my little characters here. My um, battery operated jack o' lantern. He was my most expensive piece. I think I paid twelve dollars for him, which is still a good price because they sell for like thirty bucks. So I got that. Behind the chain, you can see that clown mask. Masks aren't really worth all that much, but they're still really, really cool pieces, especially if you want to hang them on a wall. And then over here, by my Coca-Cola thermometer, my favorite Halloween piece is this um, cat sitting on a moon's nose that I bought at an estate sale like two years ago. It's been hanging there ever since. It's my favorite piece of all time when it comes to the uh, paper die cuts. So I love that. And ignore all the Christmas blow molds that are here because that's mostly what I have here. I got two on this shelf and I got another uh, Halloween piece on the, uh, behind my dresser. So I got this bad boy here, this little jack-o'-lantern. I got him for $2 at a flea market. I also have the, um, cat with... A jack-o'-lantern on its back, that was $5. And then, just down here on this shelf, I've got a whole bunch of neat little tchotchkes. It's all a mixture of Christmas and Halloween and Easter and Valentine's Day. 
Like we got my little mummy that I have riding on a Easter Bunny's uh, back. I've got this um, witch toy that's made probably from the 60s or 70s. You squeeze the sides and she does flips and tricks and everything. I have all these um, girly candles. I have the ghost. I'm actually going to sell one of these guys right here. And then I have my little candy container. The, most of these um, pieces came from either estate sales, flea markets, or antique shops. And then I got the uh, a flashlight that I found at a thrift store last year for about... 25 cents. And then, this is all Christmas down here. Last piece of um, Halloween on the, in this section is my, another blow mold that I bought at an estate sale. Over here, just my last little piece, got this really unusual witch blow mold that I've never seen before. Saw her in a bag of um, old stuff, so I was like, I'll take her. Over on this side, I have another one of my blow molds that I paid a dollar for at a flea market probably three, four years ago. That one was my very first one, and I absolutely love that one. And then I guess my last piece of Halloween... Oh, nope, I got one more. This next piece is a... It's like a really, really thin plastic electric piece I guess you could hang in your window. From the 1970s, it has a giant sticker on it for like 79 cents or something like that on it. So that was a cool piece. I mean move the traffic light for you so you can see them. Just cool, it's a witch and a ghost riding on the witch's broomstick. Just hit that. My very last piece happens to be my most valuable piece. This was mixed up in a bunch of paper die cuts at a an estate sale, I remember. It was just wrapped around in a closet. It's a skull um, club, like what a caveman would use back in the way, like in the caveman era, the, uh, whatever you call it, the prehistoric era. It rattles, kind of like a toy. I paid a dollar for it. I saw one sell for $96 on eBay when I first bought it. So that was a good find on my part. And I think that is everything. Oh, so I missed one thing. Sorry, guys. It was, I, it was the crown center of my room. So we have another jack-o'-lantern made by Bystel. Very whimsical. It's made of the heavy cardboard... So I got him at an estate sale, and I actually missed one other piece. If you guys can see him, he's kind of behind the light. He came from that same estate sale with the um, other jack lantern I just showed you, and the um, cat sitting on a moon's nose. So those were some really great pieces. The, these pieces are the starters for my love of the old holiday um, decor. So that's everything that I wanted to show you with my um, uh, Halloween room decor tour. If you like this video, be sure to leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe for those future videos, and thank you for watching.